The Rajasthan High Court has dismissed a bigamy case filed by a man against the lover of his wife. Now, this is not really any groundbreaking verdict as has been reported by certain legal portals, but we do need to discuss and address these cases to understand where our society is heading vis-a-vis -vis what are the legal options for a man today if his wife indulges into extramarital affairs. So, what was this case all about? The FIR was registered by a man alleging that his wife was abducted by three persons. His wife appeared and informed the court that she was in a voluntary relationship with one of the accused. In fact, she was in a live-in relationship with him. The husband's counsel immediately argued that since the wife had admitted to the extramarital relationship, offences under section 494, that is bigamy, that is getting married while the husband or the wife is already alive, and section 497 IPC, that is adultery, should be immediately made out. Justice Birendra Kumar of the Rajasthan High Court now ruled that consensual sex out of marriage is not a statutory offence. The court in fact noted that while it is true that the mainstream view in our society is that sexual contact should be only between marital partners, no offence can be uh, made out when adults willingly engage in sexual relations outside a marital setting. The court also went on to observe that a live-in relationship between two consulting adults of heterogeneous sex does not really amount to any offence with, uh, uh, with the obvious exception of adultery, even though as it may be perceived as immoral. So the High Court went on to dismiss this order uh, by stating that unless marriage is pleaded or proved uh, with the other partner, uh, only marriage-like relationships such as a live-in relationship would not really come uh, within the mischief of Section 494 IPC. Now, what is our take in this? Section 497 IPC has been struck down by the Supreme Court in 2018. This means that adultery remains only a civil offence where either parties can go and file for divorce on civil grounds, not criminal grounds. While one may or may not be judgmental about one's private life, but either spouse must be granted divorce immediately upon infidelity by the other. Unfortunately, it is nearly impossible for the men to prove adultery by wives even as a civil offence because photographs, phone calls, messages, WhatsApp chats, even a DNA test of the child is dismissed by the courts citing invasion of wife's privacy. In the above case, let's assume the husband goes and files for divorce. In all likelihood, the courts will actually order him to pay lifelong maintenance or one-time alimony to his wife. Uh, if you remember, recently there was a Madras High Court judgment which had actually uh, jailed a husband for extramarital affair under Section 498A IPC, uh, stating that his extramarital affair was causing mental cruelty to his wife. Premarital sex or sex outside marriage have become very, very normal today. Uh, in such scenarios, I think the government also needs to have a relook at the divorce laws. We should not get into a situation where the laws are still in the 19th century, while the society, the mindset has really moved forward. There is really no point in debating that marriage is sacrosanct or marriage should be valued. If marriage has to be valued, it is between the couple. If the two people want to live together, sometimes marriage is also not essential. But if two people are stuck in a marriage where both of them know that the other is not loyal to the partner, then there is really no point continuing and dragging these kind of marriages. Unfortunately, they are trapped in this vicious circle where the patriarchal mindset of our courts actually consider them to be the sole providers of their wives, even though the wives have been living in adultery. What are your thoughts on this case? And how do you think the government should amend laws so that no party feels trapped in a dead relationship? Do leave your comments below so that we can share on our social media platforms and have a healthy debate with regards to this issue. Do hit that bell icon and subscribe to Voice for Men India. You can also follow us on our social media handles where we update a lot of other cases, messages by readers. You can follow us on X, Instagram, Telegram, Facebook. Uh, the ID is at the rate Voice for Men in. And you can read many more articles and case orders on our website voiceformenindia.com. That's it from me as of now. Thank you very much for watching. Namaste. Jai Hind.